It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. It's another video from someone's robot. Da -da -ba -da 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 -da. All right, happy October. I think this is October. I'm making this video sometime in August, but I'm planning to release it in October. So happy October. When in October, I have no idea. This may or may not be part of a live stream. I do want it to be part of a live stream because it's going to be part of an unboxing, even though it's open. So right now you are looking into the future from the past. <laughs> If that makes any sense. And uh, as always, thank you for joining me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we get rolling, kick back, my friends. Get comfortable. Grab a drink. Today I have this leftover Panera lemonade. It's not the charged emanade, emanade, like m m No, it's not the charged lemonade from Panera because that stuff kept me up all night until I realized charge meant they put more caffeine than like three cups of coffee. So once I learned that, I said, you know, it's probably not the greatest idea to drink this hyper caffeinated drink at three in the afternoon or two in the afternoon. But hopefully it's morning where you're at and you're stirring your steaming cup of coffee and uh, adjusting it to suit your taste and you have a snack on hand so you can focus now, pay attention, channel that energy, that glucose, those calories to your eyeballs, right? Because I have here what I believe is the absolute prettiest freaking Adam car that I have ever seen. You know, when uh, this came to my attention, I was like, wow, that is, that is one beautiful Adam car. And I was shocked I had never seen this toy. And let me tell you, um, I have a lot of Astro Boy or Tetsuan or Adam, Mighty Adam toys, and I am here to tell you none of the vehicles are this pretty, including that Gyron car. So if you're prepared to take a look at it, I wish I had a box for this thing too, but I do have this, I don't know, what would you call this, a medallion? This thing is cool in and of itself. I've never seen this before either. So... Without the box, this will be much easier. That's why I said, even though I'm making this late August, and by now, if I'm not dead in a fiery plane crash, I'll have uh, gone and returned to Barcelona and Lisbon, Portugal, probably went to Fatima and had maybe a religious epiphany. Cue up the Gregorian chants. No, it's just little old me. Well, no, I didn't come back yet. Well, when you're seeing this, I'll have it. Maybe, maybe when you see a post-Fatima video, that would be much more solemn and introspective. Uh, but anyway, so when I saw this on a Facebook group, I immediately contacted the person. I just had to have this because it was just really stunning. So it's a, a friction car. I don't even know if the maker's shown it. Oh, yeah, it is. Actually, it's a Bandai. But again, check out this wheeled medallion here. Man, this is like it's a prize, like a ribbon at a fair. And you won first, first place, and they give you this first place medallion. It is so cool. It's a two-sided coin that's in there. And it's kind of like plastic bubble wrap thing. And, uh, you know, as far as the vehicle itself, this is pretty much reminiscent of a 1960s open-wheel racer from that period. Complete with that hump in the back, a single-seat racer. That's what makes it really freaking cool. Uh, I'm going to fly over this thing because it's much nicer to do it that way. The color that you see is a dark blue. That's what I'm seeing on the viewfinder or the screen. But in uh, real life, it's a little bit lighter blue. Not much, but uh, definitely a shade lighter. And look at that. It has its exhaust pipes coming out the back. This is freaking unreal. It is so damn cool. But it, it also has the stars, the planets, a few characters lithographed on there. It looks like he's holding on for dear life. Can you imagine he's maybe at the Indianapolis 500 or a Formula One race in, in uh, I don't know, Monaco? And he's got his <laughs> cool graphics on here. And it says Adam Jet. 
and he's just tearing it, tearing it up, beating all those other, maybe he's beating Tony Stark and Iron Man too. So this is almost um, very unique. I just don't recall seeing him in something like this. Now the vehicle itself also has, check this out, like two style wheels, something that you would see in a dragster. You know, dragsters would have sort of like a small thin wheel in the front and then a beefier thick different style wheel in the back although this isn't a dragster but you know what this is a bigger diameter wheel in the back and a smaller one in the front so it was almost like hey what are we going for here are we going for dragster or are we going for for an Indy racer formula one racer but i'm gonna keep handling this and it has the it has the I'm gonna call that the exhaust backfire sound. <laughs> Maybe he needs a serious tune. He used some low octane fuel, but the friction drive works fantastic. And on the bottom here, you can see where it says sign of quality. And I believe that is the Bandai logo right there. So this looks like a Bandai piece to me. And uh, do I have any, any grip on here? Yeah, I sure do. I sure do. Let's try to roll them over again. Really nice. I mean, the, the diameter of those wheels really helps with adhesion and traction. And, of course, he has the vinyl head. What you doing, man? Don't touch my head. Nice head of hair on Astro Boy. And there he is grabbing onto the wheel for dear life. And, you know, I guess what surprises me about this is that it almost has like a 50s vibe to it too obviously astro boy is from the uh, 60s but this particular style car could have also <clears throat> been equivalent to some of those you know mid to later 50s racers like the jags and the ferraris uh that are worth now like you know 20 million dollars or, or and such so you wonder like did they have an older style car because again it's just not it's not a common style that you see really with any of these um, anime characters so that's pretty much it I'll do the rev one more time for you you can see all the beautiful kanji there and again the characters I probably should have honed in on it a little more. I'll, I'll end the video by doing the flyover again, just so you can s take it all in, number one. And you know what? Do me a favor. If you have this uh, toy in the box, A, sell it to me in the box. That's your, your first requirement. But if not, you know what? If you know of any images of this toy in the box, let me know where I could see them because I would love to see a boxed example of this. Anyway, uh, with that, I appreciate your time. As always, thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think of this beautiful Adam Jet Astro Boy Racer. If you like it, you know what you could really do? Thumb up the video and share it and uh, leave a remark. With that, thanks as always for your time. It's greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you later.